see full form visual basic uh, scripting edition visual basic scripting edition vb script see uh, derived from see is a lightweight is a lightweight version of it is a lightweight version of vb programming language vb is programming language it is a lightweight version of vb programming language next who is the vendor of vb script tell me sushma who is the vendor of vb script I don't remember. You don't remember? HP. HP. No. Microsoft. Microsoft. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Microsoft. Next, when it was launched? See, launched in one nine nine seven. See, actually, it is older than. QTP tool also uh, more than five years. Uh, QTP launched in 2002, but VB script launched in 1997. VB script not developed for QTP. QTP using that VB script, but VB script has several advantage, several uh, types of usage. V uh, QTP test automation is one of the usage. Okay. Next, before discussing VB script concepts, first uh, general general topic: scripting languages. Scripting languages versus programming languages. scripting languages versus programming languages see after this topic uh, first i will provide road map uh, uh, learning objectives road map then monday onwards uh, we will uh, discuss from scratch uh, from variables declaration to automation object models and error handling also See after this concept, we will discuss a road map. I think uh, uh, road map won't be completed today. Road map also takes nearly one and a half hour to two hours. Okay. See scripting languages versus programming language. Examples. Give some examples for scripting languages. Gita, give some examples for scripting languages. Gita, yeah. Ah, uh, use some examples for scripting languages. See in the industry, yeah. IT industry, so many scripting languages available, na? Yeah. Ah. Uh. HTML. HTML is not scripting language. Markup language, hypertext markup language. See, ah, uh, no conditional and loop statements in HTML. Only tags. Ah, uh, can you tell me? Uh, Yogita, give us an example. Ah, JavaScript. Ah, JavaScript. VB script. See, old one, old scripting language, shell. You can find this uh, shell script in Unix and all flavors of Unix. And Windows also, Windows also shell is there. DOS also, in DOS, DOS also shell is there. What is the purpose of shell script? Do you have any idea, uh, Anu? Do you hate this shell script? This term. 
ஆப்ரேட்டிங்ஸ் Suppose if it is command line operating system, DOS or Unix, we can execute uh, commands one by one only. Suppose if I want to execute series of tasks, you can write a uh, shell script. See, next, uh, for l- next, JavaScript. next vb script see vb space script or vb script both are correct earlier microsoft used vb space script now they are using a single word next python python next ruby next rex etc okay give some examples for programming languages rajendra example for programming languages rajendra See, general, general topic. Uh, Java? Java, ah. Uh, dot net? Mm. Dot net is suit of technologies. Okay. In that suit, VB dot net is there, programming purpose. C hash dot net is there. VC plus plus dot net is there. Okay. See, old one, more than 60 years old, COBOL. cobol still in live see rem- uh, remaining basic fortran also there but they uh, dead almost all cobol still in live cobol next c c also completed 40 years uh, nearly 40 years 1972 2012 next c++ next visual c++ next java next vb vb da- nowadays uh, no separate vb vb dot net c hash dot net and uh, vc plus plus dot net etc dot net etc uh, next given difference between scripting language and programming language susha tell me one difference i don't know i know do you have any idea you at least one difference between okay see scripting <laughs> languages uh, scripting languages are interpreter interpreter based programming languages compiler based see if it is programming language three steps <coughs> writing the code in any editor writing the code in any editor supporting editors suppose in our qtp also editor is there test pane is editor otherwise you can write vb script functions in notepad notepad is editor and save as vbs in case of programming languages three steps 
writing the code in any editor supporting editors next compiling the code next executing the code write the code compile the code and execute the code but in case of scripting languages only two steps that middle step is not mandatory writing the code executing the code no compilation compilation not mandatory while execution they automatically compile and run next compilation tell me geeta what is compilation anu what is compilation ఇంగ్లీష్ వర్డ్ System doesn't know about English words. English is high level language for system. System knows only binary language. Zeros and ones. See, compilers convert high level language into mission level language. In case of programming languages, compilation is mandatory. Did you understand this one, Sushma? Yes, sir. Next topic, important one, scripting languages support implicit, implicit declaration of, implicit declaration of dot data types here no data type specification no data type specification suppose if it is programming language explicit declaration of data types explicit declaration of data types support the explicit that de- explicit declaration of data types uh, try to understand this concept scripting languages won't support uh, data type specification suppose if it is vb script you can declare uh, variables like uh, this dim a suppose one more variable b like this a what type of variable it is variant it can hold any type of data that we will discuss in data types chapter now just a brief idea a is variant here in vb script only one data type variant variant is logical existence what is variant it can hold any type of data suppose if we assign a equal to india it will consider string type data suppose after some time if you use a equal to 100 it considers integer type of data suppose after some time if you use a equal to 10.50 it considers floating point value double type of data if you use a equal to hash codes 10 slash 10 slash 2010 it considers date type data see here no data type specification based on usage of the data it considers but in case of programming languages explicit declaration of variables first we need to specify the data type before the variable declaration say if if it is c language we declare variables like this uh, char c h a r char city suppose city is variable name char is data type this city variable for storing k 
character type data next num x uh, not num one minute int int x this x is variable int is data type this x variable for storing integer type data next float y this uh, this y variable for storing floating point values example 10.234 like that got the point got the point uh, usha tell me what is implicit declaration of data and what is explicit declaration of data types yes uh, in scripting languages you can uh, scripting languages basically support implicit declaration of data type uh -huh. which means that for a given variable you can store any data type uh -huh. be it date uh -huh. uh, string or numeric value string or whereas, integer or double or date whatever it may be yeah uh -huh. whereas in programming languages they don't support implicit declaration of uh, data types you have to explicitly declare what type of variable it is next next don't confuse uh one more thing e uh, scripting languages support scripting languages support implicit and and explicit see earlier we discussed data types now uh, this time uh variables implicit and explicit declaration of variables variables but whereas pro uh, programming languages support only explicit declaration of explicit declaration of variables no implicit declaration uh, i will explain this concept just remember scripting languages support implicit and explicit declaration of variables whereas programming languages support only explicit declaration of variables Uh, what is implicit declaration and explicit declaration i will show one small example concentrate see <coughs> dem num1 num1 is variable num1 equal to 100 num2 equal to 200 next message box num1 plus num2 see observe run the script uh, what is the desired output uh, uh, usha what is the desired output 300 good run the script 300 see observe in this small example we used two variables num1 is explicit variable num2 is implicit variable uh, now tell me rajendra what is implicit variable and what is explicit variable see based on this example you can easily understand that concept <coughs> yeah uh, number 100 is explicit ah uh, why uh, number 1 explicit number 2 expl uh, number 2 implicit i have already uh, explained that concept but why yeah. can you tell me anu anu the variables need to be set before you use it ah 
you could have been valid to that variable, but in case of consistent, you don't. Uh -huh. You are not uh, declaring that variable, you are just using it for storing the value. Yeah. See, explicit variable means first declaring, then using. Implicit means directly using without declaration. But uh, explicit declaration is best practice. What is the problem with implicit variables that we will discuss in variables chapter? Now just remember, explicit declaration means first declaring the variable, then using. Implicit means directly using without declaration. We will support both. Understand the concept to Sushma? Any confusion? No, sir. Not. Okay. Next. Next. <coughs> Limited support. Limited support for application development see sc scripting languages for performing uh, small type of tasks but limited support for app development suppose if it is application development programming languages are flexible development see a rich support rich support for application development rich support for application development next limited support for uh, scripting languages limited support for UI design, user interface design. Next, rich support for UI design. Next, one more advantage of programming languages. Limited support for graphics design. See, so in case of programming languages, rich support. Next one advantage of scripting languages, scripting languages can be easily integrated with, easily integrate with, uh, integrated with other technologies, integrated with other technologies. See, in case of, already we discussed, in case of scripting languages, <laughs> compilation is optional. Just writing the code and executing the code. While execution, they automatically compile and run. If it is programming languages, compilation is mandatory. That's why most of the web developers use uh, scripting languages for client-side scripting and uh, server-side scripting in the web. These can be easily integrated with other technologies. Suppo example, VB script can be easily integrated with HTML. Uh, in HTML tags, we can easily insert uh, VB script code components. Next, if it is server-side scripting, uh, Web developers can 
uh, easily integrate VB script code components into ASP active server pages. That is point, I uh, know. So not I'm sorry, uh, I'm not really clear about this last point. See, develop, uh, see, HTML is there. HTML, what is the purpose of HTML? Yeah, I think um, uh, HTML is more of a uh, line design. What is the purpose of HTML? See, get fa uh, familiar with web technologies. Nowadays, web testing concept is increasing day by day. HTML purpose is web page design, uh, UI design, pages, links, buttons, etc. But HTML is not programming language or scripting language. No conditional, one minute, difficult to integrate with other technologies. See, HTML is user interface design technology. Suppose client side forms are there, web forms. Suppose user registrations or any other forms. Who validates that forms? Who validates that forms, uh, Usha, tell me. HTML doesn't validate. Why? Sorry, can you repeat the question? Question is, suppose front end side web forms is there, forms. Don't you know form? Suppose take yeah. Gmail, Gmail, log, uh, Gmail uh, user registration. F they, it opens form now. Enter first name, second name, choose password. Yes, yes. yes. Choose your, uh, user ID like uh, that. Uh, who validates that form, sir? HTML doesn't validate. HTML only for web design. Means pages design, next objects, links, edit boxes, buttons, etc. HTML is not a programming language or scripting language. Why? Uh, it is only uh, no no conditional statements and loop statements. No conditional statements and loop statements in HTML. Only tags. So, in order to validate front-end forms, developers, web developers integrate uh, VB script or JavaScript into HTML tags. Scripting languages validate that one. See, instead of uh, VB script or JavaScript, if you want to use C or C++, what will happen? C or C++ are programming languages. First, you need to compile that one. But in case of scripting languages, compilation not required. Uh, during execution, they automatically compile and run. That's why most of the web developers using scripting languages for web scripting. Any confusion, Nano? No, confusion. See? So you said, ah. therefore, um, because VB script can be easily integrated with other technologies, you said that CML, uh, it is... Ah, continue, Usha. Yeah. So you said that um, it is used in client-side uh, and server side applications is that true? Client side and ser not server side applications. Client side scripting and server side scripting. Okay, thank you. Client side scripting and server side scripting. Next point. Uh, this is also advantage of scripting languages. Scripting languages reduce. Size of the code. Size of the code. Increase. Size of the code. Ah, meaning. Say. In order to perform any tasks in. Uh, in order to perform any tasks using programming languages, lengthy code is required. 
formalities are there if it is scripting languages less or no formalities a small amount of code is enough for performing tasks i will give one small example suppose i want to display one message just hello qtp if it is c language minimum four or five statements required uh, in order to display single message also <coughs> first including header files next uh, main open curly braces next printf semicolon a uh, print a uh, printf uh, hello qtp semicolon next close curly braces like formalities minimum four or five statements required for displaying single message in c language for this suppose if it is vb script or java script or perl script single statement enough if it is vb script just type msg box within double quotes hello qtp enough no formalities if it is perl script print hello qtp semicolon got this point anu did you understand this point in order to perform any tasks lengthy code is required in case of programming languages but in case of scripting languages small amount of code is enough why in case of scripting languages less or no formalities but in case of programming languages formalities are there see the advantages also there for programming languages but in this point of view scripting language better what about you sushma tell me what is the final one <coughs> scripting language uh, reduces the size of the code ah. and uh, but the programming languages have lengthy code ah, why why because a lot of formalities yes lot of formalities in case of scripting languages less or no formalities yes yeah. okay already i, I gave the example also but uh, anu still uh, still in confusion i gave the example also if you want to if you want to uh display one message if it is c language how many statements required for displaying single message usha one statement is sufficient yeah uh, in scripting languages uh, one one statement is enough, enough. whereas in, in programming languages uh, programming languages you uh, there are multiple statements multiple statements one statement is not sufficient na no it's not sufficient uh, in programming uh, languages yeah. task is same task is same what is the task displaying a message task is same but scripting languages take one statement uh, programming languages require multiple statements uh, still confusion uh, anu still confusion no i don't understand the thing the only thing i was confused with was when you said it is server side scripting and browser side that's scripting in the next so the part which i did not understand well like i i understand the browser side scripting and one minute why we use the we did scripting languages to also browser side because it runs at the browser it tells you don't have to go to the server and it one minute has high one minute you are not listening actually it is not related to qtp test automation first of all out of syllabus second thing this i will explain in next chapter uh, next topic next topic is usage of vb script in that chapter i will explain what is client side scripting and what is server side scripting i will explain with example but it is not part of your syllabus it is not related to qtp test automation okay i know mm -hmm. it is not related to qtp test automation it is general concept anyhow i will discuss this concept in next topic see whenever situation occurs then i will explain it is not time to explain but i provided one example example why it can be 
uh, why these can be integrated with other technologies why programming languages can't be integrated easily reason i expand what is that reason what is that reason tell me usha what is that reason why these can be integrated easily why those programming languages can't be integrated easily ஈஸிலி compilation required that is the point you don't concentrate on other angles uh, what is uh, client side scripting what is server side scripting that is web development syllabus anyhow that w- that i will discuss in next topic uh, any problem uh, ano hello oh yeah i will unmute no 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 issue so far correct last uh, uh, last question for the day uh, we will meet uh, man uh, we will meet uh, on monday on monday same time uh, now uh, close the program uh, sushma tell me wh- what are the differences between uh, scripting languages and programming languages <laughs>